Brexit was, is and remains an idea about the British Parliament taking back control of the agenda, setting its own laws and making its own rules. So what to make of the decision by the new Prime Minister to block it from sitting at all for a five-week period at the most crucial moment in the entire process? With one eye on a very possible national election, Boris Johnson insists it's about setting out his new government's plans and that MPs are not being frozen out of having their say over Brexit. There will be ample time on both sides of that crucial October the 17th summit, ample time in Parliament for MPs to debate uh, the EU, to debate Brexit and uh, all the other issues. Ample time. But those MPs who have vowed to do anything in their power to block a no-deal Brexit, who've even threatened to set up an alternative parliament if their views are ignored, describe the Johnson move as nothing short of a constitutional outrage, a step on the road to dictatorship. It is a constitutional outrage. This is uh, an attempt by a prime minister who is elected by a very small number of people in the country as a Conservative Party membership to ride roughshod over parliament and prevent any legislation or debate that would stop this country leaving the EU without a deal and all the problems that it would cause. He seems to want to run headlong into the arms of Donald Trump with uh, more determination than I've ever seen anyone else before. This is extraordinary. Johnson had been thought to have been getting on better with European leaders of late and hope had not been lost among them that some new deal could be found. But time is now extremely short and there's a genuine sense of crisis among those who fear the hardest of Brexits. The great conundrum of a Brexit has always been whether it should simply fall to government to execute the will of the people or whether parliamentarians should have some kind of final say to determine what sort of Brexit they think people actually voted for. By taking MPs out of play at such a crucial time, Johnson is effectively testing whether they have the will, the resolve to try to overthrow him, his government and potentially the referendum result as well. That attempt will now probably come sooner rather than later. National elections will almost certainly follow. Something surely must happen now to resolve this sense of democratic crisis in the UK.